Over two years subsequent to the inaugural flight of the model, Boeing conducted the initial flight for their third F-15EX Eagle IIA plane, which is the first one constructed in its final operational form. The aircraft embarked on its maiden flight with only its primer paint and a small serial number, 20003 on its paired tails. The plane is slated to gain its final colors and insignias before its delivery to the U.S. Air Force proceeds. The Eagle II has recently wrapped up the first phase of the integrated tests and evaluation IT and E. Throughout this phase, the F-15EX participated in 19 large force exercise events and interacted with fifth generation aircraft. The plane marked the longest air-to-air -air missile employment and confirmed the first F-15EX employment of the longest non-nuclear air-to-ground munition release in the inventory. The data amassed is presently undergoing scrutiny by the Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center and the Office of the Secretary of Defense Director of Operational Test and Evaluation. The information shall influence the succeeding phase of the project, denoted as the full rate. Production phase, the Air Force forecasts that the decision will be made public by the year's end. As per Don Yates, the executive director at Boeing Air Force Fighters and Trainers Business Development. Minus one F-15EX are due for delivery in the time span between the end of fiscal year 2023's fourth quarter and fiscal year 2024's first quarter. Four of these planes will join X-1 and EX-2 at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. The remaining duo is anticipated to arrive at Kingsley Field in Klamath Falls, Oregon. The previously outlined plan involving the establishment of the formal training unit FTU for the F-15EX at Kingsley Field is currently under reconsideration. The Air Force is presently assessing Kingsley Field's infrastructure and airspace suitability for the F-35 FTU. If the revised plan is approved, see more Johnson Air Force Base in North Carolina, currently home to the F-15E Strike Eagle FTU will assume responsibility for F-15 training. The plans for Portland Air National Guard Base's 142nd wing to become the first operational F-15EX unit in fiscal 2025 are still being pursued. The Air Force is modifying another plan, intending to now acquire only 104 F-15EX fighters, down from the original 144. The per-plane unit cost of the 100 for aircraft will be $93.95 million in adjusted dollars, marking a 5.24% decrease from the 2020 baseline program. As documented by Air Force Acquisition Reports, Boeing had initially predicted the unit cost to tally at $80 million per plane. A further cut in the numbers would spur a surge in the associated costs, akin to what's happening with the EPA WSS. The Enway LQ-150 Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System EPAWSS, an electronic warfare and surveillance system that will come standard on the F-15EX, is being retrofitted on several F-15Es, but with the number of aircraft being retrofitted diminishing. The unit cost of the system has increased, recently leading to a non McCurdy breach. About F-15EX Eagle II Boeing has introduced the F-15EX Eagle II, an advanced fighter jet variant, to the United States Air Force USAF. This aircraft is a modernized version of the F-15E Strike Eagle, serving faithfully since the late 20th century. Slated to supersede the aged F-15C D models that have flown for four decades, the F-15EX was welcomed into the USAF fleet in March 2021. A plethora of weaponry outfits, the F-15EX Eagle II, ranging from air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles to various bombs, with a capacity for up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120MROM or AIM-9X Sidewinder, and a payload limit of 28,000 pounds of air-to-ground ammunition, such as JDAM or small-diameter bomb SDB. The F-15EX is remarkably armed. A 20mm cannon additionally offers close combat capabilities. Several technological enhancements distinguish the F-15EX Eagle II from its forerunners, possessing an innovative digital cockpit equipped with expansive displays and modern avionics. 
Pilots are granted augmented situational knowledge and operational efficiency. A contemporary fly-by-wire control system augments maneuverability and lightens the pilot workload. Furthermore, an updated electronic warfare suite bolsters its capabilities to discern and counteract enemy menaces. The F-15E X Eagle II also provides several strategic merits over the elder F-15 models. Its extended service lifespan and diminished operational expenses enhance its fiscal appeal to the USAF. Demonstrating a progressive mission system, the F-15E X Eagle II can execute an expanded scope of operational tasks. Its augmented armament capacity and varied weapon compatibility render it a highly versatile combat aircraft.